Hi everyone, this is um, Rachel Barthold and I'm here to show you how to do Valley Cheer competition hair uh, for their competitions. This is Lainey Snowden down here. She's going to be my subject today and so um, I began earlier, I just pressed out her hair. It's easier to work with straight hair. Um, the kind of equipment you're going to need to do this hair is uh, right here on the table. I'll have my cameraman zoom in. We've got, you know, just your essential hair ties, bobby pins, a couple of smaller rubber bands, uh, the teasing comb, hairspray. It doesn't really matter what kind, just make sure it's extra hold. Make sure it's a spray and not a pump because a pump will get your hair wet. And then you've got your valley cheer uh, bow. You'll have your competition bow for the actual day. Okay, so we're going to begin. We gave her a nice little side part right here. The first thing they have um, is their uh, braid off to the side. So I go ahead and I get a section of hair that I just kind of make sure this is going to be like the chunk that I use. So I pull everything else just back and then I'll begin to do the small French braid for her hair. And I section it out into uh, three little pieces. As I start to get closer down to here, I like to leave just a little bit above because I'm going to pull that hair back. So here is where I stop and I will kind of go backwards because I want it to go with the actual ponytail. So I have to bring it back a little bit. And I'll stop right about here and I'll put my smaller rubber band in just to tie it off. And her braid part is finished. Now I kind of will leave this piece out and now we're going for the high ponytail. So I begin to gather all the hair up and then I'll smooth it once I've kind of got it up here. I'm not shy about really bringing this ponytail up high because they're cheer competition bows. They're very, very um, large and they fan out. So you want to have the cheer hair bump um, above that bow. <clears throat> if that makes sense. Okay, the last thing I do is grab the little braid and I bring that in too. And you might think this looks high, but it's really not. Um, and then you just begin to wrap, just try to smooth as much as you can. And then I'll wrap it. Your bow hides a lot of than the stakes if you have bumps and lumps, so don't worry too much about that. Wrap it as tight as possible. Add an extra one for sturdiness. Bring it down and fan it a little bit. I do remove the small rubber band at this time that was in the braid because it's not needed. And it will get in the way when you start to tease the hair. If it looks a little bumpy up here, I will grab one of my bobby pins and anchor the braid down. Okay, and there's. You don't want to forget your actual competition bow at this stage. If you don't put it in, you're going to tease the hair and then you'll never be able to get the bow in over the hair. So we're pretending this is their competition bow. We want to put it face down as if it would be right on top of their head. And then we're going to bring it through just like a normal ponytail. Okay. So I start with smoothing it a little bit. For Lainey's bow, since it's more flexible, I just pin it out of the way. With the competition bows, sometimes I have the child hair hand hold the bow down a little bit just so it's out of my way. Now, if your daughter has a lot of hair, you can 
go ahead and section it this way and actually leave a huge, huge piece down. This gives it the nice length in the back because if you start to wrap up the hair in a giant ball there, you're gonna have hair that goes out instead of up and down like a waterfall. So if you have a lot of hair, leave a piece out. Lainey doesn't have a ton of hair, but she has good flexible hair. So I leave a piece down for her and I go ahead and just smooth that piece down. That's her length. It's gonna give her a nice length there. And then from here, I just take small sections at a time. And for me, I noticed the trick with teasing is to start at that base. Really give it a nice spray down front and back and then start here with the tease and really get it in there because this is my ball. This is my little nest ball that gets ratted up and gives it that nice height that we need. It's very hard on their hair but they only do it about six or seven times I believe a year so it'll work. Don't be afraid to use this hairspray a lot. You do need a lot to get this hair going, okay? So we have a nice little ratty ball here. <laughs> and then I will leave her length alone and I kind of spread it, okay? That is my first little bump. Okay, we're gonna repeat this several times. So, and then we have what I call probably the last two panels left. So one is a smoothing panel, meaning that I separate the hair out. That may look like a little bit, but that's really all you need. This piece is barely going to be touched at all. And this will be my last piece that I tease and give her a little bit more height. Since this is the last piece that I'm going to really rat and back comb, I kind of smooth it out a lot, especially on the sides. This last piece that we call kind of the smoothing piece, where it's supposed to hide a lot of the ratness, I do kind of lightly back comb it just to make it so it's sticky. We don't want it to be too much, just enough to where it is going to fold back, kind of hide everything else we've been doing, and just spread it out and smooth it down. And take a very small section and the teasing brush works best and use a little bit of hairspray just to give it stiffness and then what I do is back comb it just at the roots a little bit and then I tuck it under with a, like a roll and bobby pin it. And then I take the next section of hair. And again, you want to spray it with a little, little bit of hairspray. Back comb it just a little bit at the root so that the ends stay nice and smooth. And 
I'm gonna pin that as well. And that forms the, the height. So here you see that it's all done super high at the crown and super smooth down here. And then she's got her braid and then the bow is standing straight up. And if you need to, you can pin the tails of your bow into the side of the head here, which will keep it standing up.